being spiritual in response to arjun's request about knowledge gyan krishna says humility simplicity harmlessness forgiveness uprightness service of the perceptor purity steadfastness self control dispassion which is vairagyam towards sense objects absence of ahankar which is absence of sense of doership perception of birth death old age and pain as flawed non attachment non infatuation with children spouse or residences eternal equanimity towards desirable and undesirable circumstances krishna further says unwavering devotion to me through yoga of devotion bhakti comfortable with self away from gossip of crowds perseverance in self knowledge perceiving the absolute truth tatvagnan this is declared to be knowledge what is opposed to this is ignorance some of these are about the self and the rest are about our relationship with the external world anyone suffering from the disease of i am superior is likely to treat humility as weakness but krishna keeps humility as the beginning point of knowledge humility is neither weakness nor helplessness but a way of aligning with the all powerful existence the absence of ahankar is also nothing but humility being comfortable with oneself is another aspect of knowledge this happens when we are centered in ourselves where we don't need the crutches of sensual objects and their pleasures when dispassion vairagyam towards sense objects is attained one is centered in the self even if one is moving in sense objects or a crowd of people eternal equanimity towards desirable and undesirable circumstances is another aspect of knowledge we are happy to have favorable circumstances and get stressed when we encounter undesirable ones attaining equanimity is the only way to accept both of them as the same where these external situations lose their ability to affect us internalization of these 20 aspects of knowledge is moving from the knowledge of spiritual literature to being spiritual